We're gonna go down the slough here, and then we're gonna cut across the main channel and take a little break at Blackhawk Park. In the extreme northeast corner of Iowa sits the surprisingly inviting Blue Heron Canoe Trail. Surprising because riding a canoe or kayak down the main channel of the country's biggest river at first sounds fraught with intense paddling demands, but ultimately inviting due to the river's gentle current and unexpectedly intimate surroundings. Many people just think of it as a, as a motorboat river, um, and they, they go to the Upper Iowa or the Yellow River or the Turkey River, and they don't realize that there's parts of the uh, Mississippi River where we can go and not see anybody else, not hear anybody else, and, and that's what we're trying to get people to realize, that they don't need to be afraid of this big river, they just need to respect it and uh, enjoy the day. Nestled at the tail end of the trail sits Lansing, a town of just under 1,000 residents. The Mississippi and Lansing have a long shared history, where every summer visitors have flocked to the river town for one specific reason. Our slogan here in Lansing is where Main Street meets Mississippi. Uh, the Main Street runs straight into the river. Like if you kept driving, you would lose your car and be submerged. Uh, river life has been a big part of the history of this town. Our, we say that our summer population triples during the summer just because uh, people are coming and experiencing the river and just enjoying our outdoor recreation. To capitalize on all the river offers, in 2018, Lansing and Alamakee County Conservation teamed up to create the annual Driftless Super Slough, a monthly series of all-day paddling excursions on the cool summer waters of the Mississippi. Our main reason for wanting to do it was just to try and bring people to the river who might not have the opportunity to come before. We usually have a naturalist from Alamakee County Conservation coming along to help point out and give interpretation about what you're seeing on the river. So we just wanted to provide a worry-free trip for people to be able to experience the river, uh, a new part, or maybe their own backyard that they might not have seen before. Well, we're on the Upper Mississippi Wildlife Refuge, and there's about 125 different fish species that live in the refuge, plus mammals, reptiles, amphibians. So uh, it's just a mecca for human activity and for wildlife, and there's no better spot in Iowa than the Upper Mississippi River, I believe. <sighs> Gliding down the river, the Super Slough would seem to be the perfect opportunity to hold an immersive class on the Mississippi ecosystem. But the beauty of the Super Slough is there is no agenda. Ross will answer any and all questions, but he doesn't come with a preset plan, instead letting the river reveal its secrets. If we tried to uh do something formal, you know, we, we'd be doing it wrong because we need to talk about what we're seeing at that time. So if we see an eagle go by, we talk about eagles. If we see old housing foundations, we talk about those. If we see a barge, we talk about the commercial traffic on the Mississippi River. So um, we're just trying to live in the present. Trish Cook and her husband relocated from central Iowa specifically for the peaceful nature of river life. Events like the Super Slough are exactly what they were looking for. One of our very first goals since we retired is to kayak. And we don't know where to go because the Mississippi's kind of complicated. So we joined the group. With no idea what to expect, Trish found the river much calmer than she anticipated, discovering not only slough islands, but the similarities between the river and her family pond. The whole idea of what is a slough and what these islands are, it was, was completely new to me. And, and I was thinking last night what I imagined it was, and it was so much more safe and uh, it's like gentle, wide creeks. And so you shouldn't imagine you're in this big raging river, you're in gentle creeks. It actually reminded me of my grandfather's farm in Western Iowa, to be in like the water flowing through these soft banks and the trees and the animals everywhere. It took me back to those kind of days in the pasture. So when you don't feel like you're in the Mississippi River when you're in a slough, you feel like you're just in some calm channel. Well, it's nothing like they've ever experienced before. It's, it's the Mississippi River is, is known worldwide. There's nothing else like it in the world and to experience to be out here in a small craft like a kayak or a canoe where 
um, you realize that you're not nearly as big as we'd like to think some days. Thank you.